in all of baseball. Ready to go, Lance McCullers Jr. wearing his Los Astros jersey. Delivers a strike to start this one. Seven on the road and seven here at Minute Maid Park as Lance picks up a strikeout. That curveball could be in play a lot tonight as he strikes out Rojas on the curveball to start this one. Ground ball to Altuve. Should be an easy inning for Lance. Very impressive start. Only nine pitches needed for a strikeout and a couple of ground outs to second. Game against Texas hit the home run last night. The first hit of the game for the Astros against Madison Bumgarner. Called third strike. Altuve takes that 3-2 pitch. And Castellanos picks up a strikeout to start this one. And he misses wide, ball four. Bregman draws a walk with one away. Jordan crushes one to center field. This ball headed to the Budweiser. Party zone, the party's on. Two run home run for the big man. Number 31 on the season. The Astros jump in front two to nothing. What if you had some nachos out there? Isn't that a little extra hot sauce on it? Because this thing came in there at 114.1 miles an hour. What? That is a cutter that cut right into the barrel of Jordan Alvarez and got absolutely torched. 114.1 miles an hour off the bat, 453 feet. Yuli Gurriel down the count 0 and 2, and Castellanos comes back with a strikeout of Yuli on three pitches. So he has struck out Altuve and Gurriel in this inning, and there's two away. Hits the ball sharply, but it hits the mound and slows it up a little bit. Rojas is there for the play. And the final out of the inning, but the Astros take a 2 0 lead. Scheduled to go Friday, had to pitch that final game in Texas, so yesterday became a bullpen day. That ball hit rather well by Varsho, and that's going to be down into the wall. Tracking it down to Chaz McCormick in center field. Varsho a turn, but he'll hold up at second. Line drive double by the catcher, Dalton Varsho. Got him. Went back there to the slider, and that worked out well for McCullers. Picking up his second strikeout, two outs in the inning. Up and away, and that's a four-pitch walk. First walk of the night allowed by McCullers, and the Diamondbacks have two on with two outs. Through there, 96 97. Ground ball, Correa to his left, gobbles it up, and Lance will strand two here in the second inning. Double and a walk, but no run score. Astros lead two to nothing. Broken bat, but that's going to fall in there in the right center field for a base hit. Carlos Correa with a leadoff single here to get things going in the bottom of the second. Arwin this year, he'd like to get that. Going before the season ends, there's a ground ball to the right side, and the Diamondbacks able to turn two on Gonzalez. So Correa's base hit wiped out. There's two outs with nobody on. And <laughs> he went off towards first, and he put his finger in the in the air. Ball towards right field, pretty well hit down the corner, and Paven Smith makes the catch against the wall for the final out of the inning. McCormick didn't miss a home run by much, thanks to the double play. Castellanos with a seven pitch inning. That's great news. Swing and a miss. Makes quick work of Jake McCarthy. Four pitch strikeout getting McCarthy for strikeout number three. One away in the third. And any breaking ball. They are hitting 185 against. Ooh. Had the change up to it. That was a nasty sequence to Josh Rojas who found himself down in another count 0 and 2 and strikes out for the second time. That was All fun. third strike. How about that inning? Lance McCullers Jr. strikes out this side. Only needs 10 pitches. One out of the zone that entire inning. He has been able to go below the zone and above the zone to hit home runs. Puerto Castellanos, three pitch strikeout, getting Martin Maldonado looking for the first out. 453 feet. That was the only slider he's thrown tonight. This ball popped up. Christian Walker comes in and makes the play. Castellanos, a 1 2 3 third. 
Shot the other way for a fair ball. It's going to bounce off the wall. Jordan's going to hustle, and he can't quite make the pickup on the move, so David Peralta gets into second base. Call third strike. Calhoun is not happy with the call. Mike Estabrook says that was high enough for a called third. And Lance gets a big strikeout. Six on the night. Ground ball right side under the glove of Yuli into right field. Around third comes Peralta. The throw by Tucker not quite in time. Diamondbacks on the board. A play normally Yuli would make. That'll go down as an error in the Diamondbacks now trail this game two to one. Ledmus Diaz, who's had a great year. There's a the ball down the right field line, and that's going to head towards the corner. Towards third goes Varsho. He's going to be waved around. The ball kicks away from Tucker, and the Diamondbacks will tie the game up at two. Ground ball. Nobody home on the left side. That'll be in the left field for an RBI hit. Haven Smith just chops one on the left side with three on the right side and knocks in the go ahead run. Diamondbacks rallying with three here in the fourth. Another one the other way. The Diamondbacks hitting them where the Astros aren't positioned. Opposite field hit for Paven Smith, followed by. Got him. Strikes out Rojas for the third time. Strands a couple of runners. Diamondbacks do score three in the inning. But Lance finally works through it. It's Arizona three, Houston two. Yeah, widely represented. On the ground, off the glove of Josh Van Meter into left field. Big turn by Yuli. He needed that base hit. That snaps an 0 for 8. Yuli, a one out base runner for the Astros here in the fourth. The right side and keeps Rojas on the left side. Tucker. Fly ball in the left center in the left field. Rojas a long run. He can't get there. Great read by Yuli. He got to second easily and was thinking about getting to third. Tucker hit one right in between the left fielder Peralta. Ground ball gloved by the first baseman Walker. And Gonzalez grounds out to end the inning. Astros will leave two on. We head to the fifth. Three two. Up in Oakland. 3-0 pitch is swung on and belted to center field and can tell Marte has extra bases off the center field wall. Played out there by Chaz McCormick and Marte a leadoff H runner here in the fifth inning. Got him. Peralta goes down on strikes. Struck him out with a curveball. That's eight strikeouts from McCullers. One out into the fifth. Little tapper McCullers will field it on a couple of hops and he'll make the tag himself on Varsho for the final out of the inning and fire the ball into the stands. We are halfway home with the Diamondbacks leading the Astros three to two. Altuve trails one to left field all the way back Peralta that's off the wall. That'll be an extra base hit for Altuve hit number 850. In his career at Minute Maid Park the all time hit leader now in this stadium. There's a line drive base hit in the left field. Altuve will be held up. That ball got to Peralta in a hurry. Bregman with a single putting runners on first and third with two outs. Ground ball off the glove of Christian Walker. Recovered by Cattell Marte who makes the play for the final out of the inning. The old 3-4-3 ground out and the Astros fail to score here in the fifth inning. About to throw pitch number 109. And that is outside ball four. Second walk allowed by McCullers. And Meter will be a two out base runner. That ball hit hard to left field. Jordan will have to play it off the wall and it bounds past him. McCormick backs up nicely. They're going to wave him around. Correa's got an arm. He is out at home plate. Shouldn't have done it. Chaz McCormick backed up beautifully, and once he got the ball to Correa, there was no chance for Van Meter. Riel now leading off in the bottom of the sixth inning, and he'll line a base hit into left field past the outstretched glove of Josh Van Meter. Yulia two for three night, and a leadoff runner for the Astros here in the sixth inning. It's not a normal play for him to back up. Look at this cue shot. Oh, that's beauty. Are you kidding me, Tuck? King, touch it. King Tuck.
is crowned with that double. That's a, that's an OPS booster right there. Slugging percentage. Fly ball, right field. Paven Smith underneath it. At third base, Yuli, he's going to tag and come home. The throw goes to third. Tucker will be safe. Yuli ties the game. Sack fly by Carlos Correa. We're all knotted up at three apiece. The Diamondbacks are going to appeal, it appears. Marwin has to step into the box first, so Sittinger will step off the rubber, and they will appeal to third. Tucker is now going to break for home, and he's going to be hung up. Not sure what Tuck was thinking. That'll be an out there. Well, they don't get the appeal. They don't get the appeal now, huh? Yeah. So was that a planned play? Yes. Want to take that chance. Swing and a miss. Brandon Sittinger picks up his first major league strikeout, and that'll do it for the Astros in the sixth inning. They tie it up at three on a strange play. We're all knotted up. Upstairs, ball four. Two out walk allowed by Maton. Peralta, base runner. That'll bring up Cole Calhoun and Dusty Baker. Swing and a miss. He got Calhoun on a 3-2 slider to end the inning. Brooks rarely strands a runner. Seventh inning stretch time at Minute Maid Park. Astros and D-backs tied at three. Fly to right field and also lined out to center. And he hits the ball hard in the left field. Chaz McCormick, a leadoff base runner for the Astros. Back-to-back -back innings with a base hit to start the inning. Yuli on the first pitch of the sixth. And a line drive base hit to right. That's how you move the runner. Get on base yourself, Baldy. Base hit to right field for Martin Maldonado. First and second, nobody out. Soft line drive towards short. McCormick did not see that ball well as he kept going to third base, and he has doubled up easily. Ground ball to third. Glove there by Van Meter. He'll make the force play at second. And that'll do it for the Astros. Two hits to start the inning, but then a little base running mistake cost them as 3-3 at the end of seven. Get you ready to play some of those tight ball games in the postseason. Called third strike outside corner. Walker not happy at all. Very demonstrative at home plate. Mike Estabrook letting him have his say for now as he gets called out on a slider on the outside edge. Ground ball. Bregman, the lone defender on the left side, makes the play. Paven Smith retired. One, two, three, eighth for Ryan Stanek. The Astros will bat in a tie game, bottom half of the eighth. Trying to hold up. He goes around, and that'll do it for the Astros in the eighth inning. Mantiply with a six pitch inning, including a strikeout. We head to the ninth, tied at three. Try to hold up. He goes around. Third base umpire Jeff Nelson and crew chief said that's a swing. Presley picks up a strikeout here, one away. Into left center field, long run for Alvarez on the track. It'll bounce for a hit. McCormick will make the play, and Rojas has a two-out double on an 0-2 pitch that he hits the other way. Ground ball slowly hit. Altuve will charge and make the play for the final out of the ninth. Fist into the glove for Ryan Presley as he worked through a two-out double. We head to the bottom of the ninth. Astros a chance to walk it off. It's all tied up at three. Broken bat to right field. Coming in Smith. Diving attempt and a great catch. Paven Smith robbing Carlos Correa. Laying out for that catch in right. But they'll need him as when Delkin strikes out McCormick here to end the inning. Fly out, ground out, and strikeout. We're going to head to extra innings all tied at three. Crown ball past the diving Jose Altuve. The runner was holding up. Could tell Marte was not coming home on the contact play. So if Altuve had somehow made that play, the Diamondbacks wouldn't have scored the run, but the S record in the AL. 3-2 pitch hit high and deep to center field. Jake Myers going a long way looking up and that ball's gone. Dalton Varsho on a 3-2 pitch. Hits it over the wall in right center field for a two-run home run. And that gives the Diamondbacks a 6-3 lead.
Max with a couple of big hits in this 10th inning. Osho going down to get this one. So now the base is cleared. Strike three called. Walker goes down looking. That's out number two. Three in the tenth to keep this one alive in this game. That one sharply hit, but at Altuve. Paven Smith retired for the final out, but a big home run by Dalton Barsho, a two run shot, putting the second and third runs of the inning on the board for the Diamondbacks. They there's a line drive into right field. That'll be down for a hit. Being waved around is Jake Myers. Here comes the relay throw. Head first slide safe. Astros make it a 6-4 game on the RBI single. By Jason Castro. Just below the zone. Quite a take by Bregman on a close pitch. The Astros have the tying runs on base with one out. And Jordan Alvarez do up. Fly ball center field playable. Jake McCarthy waits for it. And that is the ball game. Tough one tonight. The Astros end the night with two runners on base and lose by two. Six to four the final score. Back to back extra inning games. Astros winning four to three last night. Losing six to four tonight. We'll have more including the post game show coming up right around the corner.